Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and the ARC Revo America 2019 tournament is happening right now, and we got some juicy little info for you. So on site at the tournament, there is playable stations where you can just walk up and play the new Guilty Gear 2020 demo, and you can just play along with it, have fun, that all that cool stuff, right? And they are handing out surveys when the demo is done, and there's something very key on that survey. And that key thing is here, question number 27, do you think rollback netcode is essential? And honestly, I'm shocked to see that there on the survey. One criticism that's been labeled at Japanese fighting games for the longest time is kind of the near refusal to even entertain rollback netcode. Uh, there was a question and answer session with the developers, and uh, that was about two weeks ago, and they were directly asked, hey, what about rollback netcode? And it was basically brushed aside. So at that point, everyone's like, well, you know, I guess no rollback for this game, right? But to see it there, it brings hope there is an actual chance it might have rollback netcode, the new Guilty Gear 2020 game. If you follow the channel at all, Rollback Netcode is something I've harped on for years now. And just to let you know where I come from, I live in Ontario, Canada, in the middle of nowhere. I'm not near Toronto, I'm not near Montreal. You go, go not too far out of town, there's cows, right? So for me, online play has always been such a critical thing. And Rollback Netcode is strictly better than delay-based netcode. So for me to play fighting games, I always hope Rollback Netcode is a thing. So all I can say is to all the brave warriors currently at Arc Revo, uh, if you get that survey, please, dear God, say absolutely yes, rollback netcode is essential, because it is. Uh, it's certainly a world better than delay-based netcode, even though they have been getting better at it, to be sure, you know, to be fair. Uh, but rollback is still always going to be better than delay-based netcode. And hey, while we're here, once again, Arc Revo is happening right now. So here is some scheduling so you can see it. So hey, watch along. There'll be some fun stuff. Maybe it'll be a surprise at the end. Who knows? I don't know. But it'd be nice if there was, right? Uh, but yeah, so I just sincerely hope... I, once again, I'm making this video mostly because I just thought the, I, the dream was dead, right? There was no chance to roll back Netcode for Guilty Gear. And then here we are and we have it in a survey. And the wording too, do you think rollback netcode is essential? Not nice, it's not like, is it nice to have? Is it okay? Is it essential? And once again, I say absolutely yes. And once again, for this game, the developers have said they're willing to take in any comments, criticism, suggestions, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so my comment, criticism, and suggestion is yes, rollback netcode is absolutely essential. So yeah, part of the reason of me making this video is just to let you guys know, hey, the dream isn't dead, there is a chance, and I hope that Arxis listens. They have stated it more than a few times now. The goal of this new Guilty Gear is to reach a new audience, a larger audience, a profoundly more North American audience too as well. And one of the ways you're going to get, keep, and retain your audience is with quality online play. So let's hope against hope, and let's just hope that Rollback Neko comes our way. So anyways, I guess that's enough rambling from me. So my friends, that's the end of this video, so thank you very much for watching. Hope this video found you well, and hey, go out and play some Guilty Gear.